This is question number 41 of IIT JAM Economics 2021 paper. Let's see what the question is saying. The amount of money a gambler can win in a casino is determined by three independent roll of six faced fair dice. The gambler wins 800 if he gets three sixes, right? So if there are three sixes, he gets 800. 400 if he gets two sixes. 400 if there are two six. 100 in the event of getting only one six. So one six, 100. The gambler does not win or lose any money in all other possible outcome. What is the probability that gambler will win at least 100 is? Okay. So I want to find out the probability that the gambler wins 100 or more than that, which means the probability that he earns 100 plus the probability that he earns 500. Oh, not 500 actually. If he's getting two sixes, it would be 400 plus the probability that he earns 800. These are the only three options, right? Either he will get one six, so he will earn exactly 100 or he will get two sixes and earn 400, or he will get three sixes and earn 800. Now, what is the probability that there is going to be one six? This means that, so imagine th I'm throwing three dices. Imagine that the first dice gave me a six, but the second, any other option, no six, and the third also no six. Or, there can be various permutation combination. This is not giving any six. This is giving six. This is not giving any six. Or the first two didn't give six. And the third gave a six. These are the options that you will have. So what are the probabilities associated with these? Well, there are three types out of which I'm getting two. Three C, two, right? So three factorial, Two factorial, one factorial. This is another way of just understanding this. So three into two factorial by two factorial, one factorial, which is nothing but three. So there can be three such scenarios where you will get exactly one dice being six and other two not being six. Now, the probability, because these are thrown independently, the probability that this would be a six would be one by six. The other is not 6, which means you're not getting a 6. You're getting any of the other 5 numbers. So 5 by 6, this is also not a 6. So you're getting any of the 5 number, 5 by 6. Plus, this is not 6, which means you got any of the 5 numbers. This is a 6. You got any of the 1 number. This is not 6. So you're getting any of the other 5 number. Plus, not 6, which means you're getting any of the other 5 numbers. Not six, you're getting any of the other five numbers, but six, you're getting exactly six. So there is only one six out of one to six, right? If you notice, aren't these three things exactly the same? Two times five and one times six. So can I write this as three into one by six into five by six into five by six? That is why this is useful. If you use the permutation method, you would know that you exactly have to multiply 3 with 1 by 6 into 5 by 6 into 5 by 6. There is one time that the dice will give you 6 and other two times it will not give you 6. Or you can create these patterns and add them together. Okay, so this is the probability that you will get exactly 1, 6. Now, let us find out the probability that you will get two six. So you are getting two sixes. Now, because you are going ahead and you're getting two sixes, this means that, you know, 
the first dice is giving you a six. The second dice also gave you a six. And the third dice did not give you a six. So no six. Again, there can be various cases. The first two gave you a six or the first and third gave you a six and the second didn't give you a six or the first didn't give you a six and the second and third gave you a six. So again, three cases. So probability that you will get six would be what? One by six. Probability of getting six will be one by six. Probability of not getting six will be five by six. And I will multiply simply this by three because of there are three such times that can happen. So this is again going to be three into five by six to the power three. What is the probability that you will get all three sixes? You throw the first dice, it gave you a six. Second also gave you a six. Third also gave you a six. Just one such time will happen, right? So it will be one by six into the other also gave you a six. The other also gave you a six. So one upon six to the power three. What is this? This was five into five, 25 into three, 75 by six to the power. So these are all the possible cases. Now, if we have to go ahead and ask, what is the probability that the person is earning 100 or more? We just had to add the probability of 100 plus the probability of 400 plus the probability of earning 800, which was nothing but probability of getting 1, 6, probability of getting 2, 6, probability of getting 3, 6. This is 75 by 6 to the power 3 plus the other one will be 15 by 6 to the power 3 plus 1 by 6 to the power 3. So this would be 91 by 6 to the power 3. So you can go ahead and solve this. You can find out the decimal for this. So this is going to be 91 by 216. Let's go ahead and solve this once. So this is going to be 0.42 approximately. So the answer in the booklet, answer booklet gives you 0 0.41 to 0 0.43, but you should give the exact answer. So the answer would be 0 0.42. Okay, thank you.